Hi there, I am Karan from the Bat Team. So in this video, we will talk about the input plugin version 1.0 by KVC. Basically, we already know that the batch has some of the limitations that we cannot get multiple inputs with a single commands. For example, if I want to take mouse input and keyboard input together, then this is not possible with any of the available plugins or functions so basically this input plugin will remove this limitation and it will allow you to get both the input in a single command so basically if you will call input plugin from your batch program it will tell you that either the user input was keyboard type or the mouse type so based on that input type you can simply interact with the program and process the command further you can see here i am showing you some previews basically this is for full input that mouse h over input is also available and you can see here we can also see the keyboard input and this is the help menu of the input plugin and this you can read this by pausing this video basically this is telling the same thing that i am explaining here and let's talk about how it works let's go to the basic usage you can simply call it and it is the normal usage but if you will call it with the f parameter it will show you the full usage with mouse hover info and it might take a lot of cpu so that keep that in consideration so this let's go to see the examples now so this is the input.c++ code you can have a look at it and when you will download the repository you will see the same code same source file in that let's launch now the test file you can see here if i i am clicking with the mouse it will it is showing me that user has given mouse input and if i am pressing a key it is showing keyboard input it is also showing the which key is pressed with its, its ascii code and you can scroll with mouse as well as click with keyboard input all mixed up and let's try the h over test now you can see the cpu usage right now is normally 40 percent around and if i am going in the cmd console you can see the cpu usage is getting increased up to 70 percent so you can see here i am not clicking anywhere right now so i am just moving with my mouse and each movement is calling uh, iteration or a loop inside the program so that is why the program was able to detect if I have hovered over the text or not so basically yeah you can check it again you can explore the code by clicking on it and right click and just edit so I hope you like this plugin in case you have any doubt feel free to leave it in the comments field below I'll try to help you out. Bye-bye.